Obviously you can combine ideas. Here is an idea for cherry pie using larger glass beads with holes. I'm putting a base into this pie. This not only helps to contain the beads and the Fimo liquid but um, it also helps to stick the pie crust on the top. So even though you don't see the base of the pie, put it in anyway. Push it in. This is where I could do without my fingernails. I'm using beads with holes for this. I don't think it'll show, but if it does, it looks as if they are cherries with the stones taken out. These are red cherries. Obviously, you could use darker coloured ones. You now need a pie crust and obviously some liquid Fimo. I'll cut the slice out and this is the same colour as we used for the tarts. I need quite a lot of the liquid for this one. I've got to have patience with this stuff. Put the top on. and press it down at the sides. You need to remove the visible bit of the base so it does look as if there's been a slice taken out. And a cocktail stick all the way round makes the fork marks just like my mother used to do when she was making fruit pies. I'll just make the slice out a bit bigger. and tidy up so you can't see the bottom to paint the liquid Fimo over the edge of the base so you can't see that it's there. A little hole in the middle completes the pie. Afterwards you can give it a light brush of paint to make it look baked.